Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another video. Today, I want to talk to you about this new project focusing on this guitar. This is a um, acoustic guitar. It's vintage, and I'm going to try to restore it. Uh, if that sounds interesting to you, please stay tuned. Let's go ahead and dive in. As we dive in, I want to encourage you guys, please feel free to check out some of the links down in the description below if you wish to support my channel. Anything you can do there is much appreciated. Okay, so this is a guitar I found on Reverb.com. Uh, it was listed as some kind of 1960s guitar from Korea. Um, the brand is unknown. There is actually no indication on the headstock. Um, in the, on the back of the headstock, it does say Made in Korea Steel Reinforced Neck Sticker. Um, on the inside of the sound hole, it says Model Number G101. But that's it. Uh, there does not appear to be a truss rod, and um, it's kind of a little bit of a parlor size guitar. It's certainly incomplete in this state. It doesn't have any kind of nut. It doesn't have a bridge. It does have this kind of metal string tailpiece uh, screwed into the bottom side here. And, um, you know, I think, I, I think my total was about $60, so I didn't put a lot of money into it, but I thought it would be a really fun and interesting project. Um, bought it sight unseen. Was, this is really the first time I've looked at it. My goal here, um, I have built a lot of things and done a lot of DIY projects related to guitar, but I really haven't done a lot of acoustic luthery, and so I think this is going to be an interesting opportunity to that end. All right, I got the guitar on my bench. I think it would be good to do a little bit of inventory. Uh, upon initial inspection, actually, I was kind of pleasantly surprised with the condition of the guitar. Um, the top seems to be fine, and I don't notice that there are any, like, cracks or that the top is coming unglued. Um, I mean, it's certainly not in perfect condition, but I think it does appear... There's a, maybe a little bit of a crack right in here, right there, but I can't tell if it's like a finish related thing. Flipping it over to this side, I also do see maybe I feel a little bit of an edge right here. So you know that might be something I want to take a look at. Just looking at it right now. I think I can see a little bit of space right up in there. So that might be one area that we can look to fix. Overall the guitar appears to be very dirty. Uh, looking inside the sound hole, I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to show that off. There's quite a bit of dust in there, little cobwebs. Just does definitely appear like it needs to be cleaned. The frets look pretty bad. They definitely need to be cleaned pretty deeply. Um, the fretboard looks fine. There's maybe some mark here where you can see that strings have been on, but it's nothing insane. We need a nut. We need tuners. The headstock looks nice. I actually really like the way that the headstock kind of looks visually with this kind of cracking. Looking at the top a little bit more, there's kind of some residue here that needs to be removed. Um, there's some very minor, just kind of dirt and grime that definitely needs to probably come off. The bridge here, you can see this was where the bridge was installed. It's got some glue weirdness here that needs to come off. It has this black pick guard, which um, is screwed on. And to be totally honest with you, like you can feel the screws poking through. I don't really like the look of the pick guard, but I imagine if I take it off, it might look weird as well. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Um, looking at the sides here, the sides look just fine. There's, it's definitely a little bit of a darker wood that's probably been stained, but it does. you can see a little bit of marking here. Now this part, there's some, some fishing finishes kind of coming off. Looking at this joint, there's a little bit of a crack right here. 
and the base of the heel of the neck is yeah the finish is just kind of coming up off in these areas right here so that's something I need to address so yeah I think what I'm going to try to do is give the guitar a nice thorough cleaning um, I'm going to try to address any of the finishing issues get the finish up to a nice spot any structural issues maybe if I need to add some glue in here some of those kinds of things um, and then we'll kind of look to build it back up I've got some parts coming in the mail that should get it to um, you know a bridge and the tuners and a, a nut um, and hopefully get this thing to a really nice playing condition I just think this would be a really fun guitar to have around so let's go ahead and give it a shot
Okay guys, so you probably just heard the clip, and let's be really honest, it just wasn't sounding like I'd hoped. It sounded a little bit muffled, and just kind of something wasn't right. So I kind of went back to the drawing board, I did some research on setting up kind of these floating style bridges, and what I concluded was that the way that I had cut the little channels into the saddle here um, was kind of probably choking out the strings a little bit. So, um, what I did is I basically sanded the top of this saddle here, the bridge saddle, down so that it was at the same level of the bottom of each of those grooves. And so now basically um, the thing is, is just has a slight curve, but there's no grooves. I mean, the strings are just sitting right on top and they can kind of float freely. Now, I think the other issue was because I had kind of tuned it a little bit low, uh, you actually, I think I need some of that string tension to give it some downward pull into the body. Now, that has created a little bit of an issue because the this tailpiece here is maybe not robust enough and it actually pull, it's, it's getting pulled a little bit this way because this string is pulling harder than this string. But, um, so it's a little bit off center. There's a little bit more of a gap here between the low E string and the fretboard and the high E string gets a little bit pinched. But, um, Listen to this.
Okay, I hope you guys can hear. Subjectively, now that I've got the setup a lot better, specifically this bridge saddle, this guitar sounds amazing. Uh, I really have fallen in love with it very quickly. I do need to fix this bridge tailpiece issue. Um, I, I, I basically think that this connection point here with this metal is not strong enough to really withstand the pull of this low E string. It might not even be designed for steel strings, honestly. It might be a nylon string guitar, but um, I'm just really thrilled with how it sounds. I think it sounds really, really cool. Um, definitely getting this bridge saddle correct, set up correctly so that the strings have a nice base to resonate off of nice and cleanly and clearly was a huge upgrade. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you have any recommendations on what I should do to get this guitar maybe even to another level after this, please let me know. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.